Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer this one. The first thing we need to do first the derivative for the both sides. So we have the formula of this one. So if we do first the derivative of this integration, we need to do first the derivative of b and the value of b will change for t. So we have f of b minus we need to do first the derivative of a and the value of a will change for t. So we have f of a. So this one, that is about the constant. So you got number zero. This one, we need to do first the derivative of x and the value of x will change for t minus we need to do first the derivative of a and the value of a will change for t next this one that is about the square root of s so we have number one over number two with the square root of s so number two cancel number two this one that is about the constant so you got number zero this one we have number one and now we simplify we have like this and s where i will put in here now we return back to this one so f of t we put t go in here so that means we have f of t equals to t square over the square root of t so i will put this one go in here now we need to simplify this one over this one next i will put number six go in here next the integration of one over the square root of t we have the formula in here we need to transform this one into this one the square root that is 1 over 2 but this is about in the denominator so if you want to put this one go to numerator so we put the negative sign in here because we have the formula in here now the next one we have the formula so this one we have t to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 and i will put about c so this one that is we put negative 1 over 2 go in here so we got about t to the power of negative 1 over 2 plus 1 over negative 1 over 2 plus 1 
and then we put the bounds from A to S so this one we have 1 over 2 this one we have 1 over 2 and now this one we have the square root of t this one we put number 2 go in here so I will put s go in here 8 go in here so we can see that this one and this one they are the same so we just have only this one equals to this one so we divide both side by number two so we have number three then we put the power number two for the both side So we have 8 equals to number 9. And this is the answer for the question. That is the end. Thank you for watching.